y'all. Welcome back to my channel, Dollar Tree Thursday. All right, y'all, so spring has sprung at the Dollar Tree. Not everything that's been on my wish list is crossed off just yet as far as spring items, but they are starting to stock and I am happy about it. So if you wanna see what I picked up this week at the DT, stick around for this video. All right, y'all, I'm gonna start off with the thing I was most excited for this week at the DT, and that has got to be the planters. I was so excited to see that my stores finally put them out. I've seen everybody haul all this amazing spring stuff, and my DT, just like I know a lot of yours, is just slow at getting things out. And do you blame them? I mean, we just got into February, let's be honest. But I am impatient, and I was so happy to see the cute planters. Now, last year, and I do have my ones from last year because I want to compare for y'all so you just know, but they have this size. I am loving the little handles on the side here. I got two of them. I am obsessed with these. I was so excited to see them. I want to say that I have even seen them in a skinnier, taller version with the flowers and garden saying on it as well. Don't quote me on that. But this year they have the black writing on them, which I actually like a little bit more and it looks a little bit more galvanized than the ones from last year. And again, I'm gonna show you the ones from last year in comparison. But I got two of them and they're pretty good size. Y'all know I had to get some accessories since I'm a part of the FFA with all my fake flowers and I don't have anything to put them in. I do, but not enough, right, for all the ones I've been hauling. So I got those, I was super excited to see those. And then I also got the oval ones that look like this. They also have another saying on it, and I took pictures at the end, so stay tuned for that. But this is raised, raised black lettering here. And I'm gonna show you last year, so I didn't even use the ones from last year yet. I still have them, but compare them, okay? So they're the same exact thing. This one looks a little bit more galvanized and distressed. This one looks more shiny, so I'm liking the way these look better. And this is the raised, but it doesn't have the black on there, so they're just plain. But I saw a really cool hack on Pinterest where you can kind of put some toilet bowl cleaner on these and it will make them look more galvanized, rustic and old. So I think I'm gonna try that for these because I don't like how they're so shiny. But these are the ones from last year in comparison to this year. Continuing with the garden theme. So I did go ahead and pick up one of these water cans and they had these in purple and pink, I think. I took pictures at the end, but I just thought it was too cute. This is not coming across on camera, the true like teal color that it is. It just looks blue, but it's just a watering can. And I need this all year long actually for like the fall with my mums and all outside. I have no green thumb at all. That's why I buy all the fake flowers. I can't keep anything alive, but I thought this was too cute and I'm using like a plastic Mardi Gras cup right now. Yeah. Yes. So I needed to go ahead and get one of those and, you know, step up my, my game as far as my gardening game. I also found these. Now I took pictures at the end. They have the same planter in like a gold color and I want to say a silver color. So I just love the like, what is that? The detail on there the raised detail, and if you don't like the colors on these, this is what I was thinking. If you wanted like a plain color, like if you're going for the farmhouse look and you don't want it to be different colors like this, you can spray paint these like a white or a chalk gray color and it would be so cute. I mean, these would even be cute for like trash cans. They don't have to be just planters, but I had to pick that one up. I'm probably gonna do something with the fake flowers with it. I also got this and I got this for something in the future that I'll share with y'all later, but this is a metal hanging plant bracket and they had lots of different plant and garden accessories. Stay tuned, I took loads of pictures, guys. I didn't pick up much to the Dollar Tree haul, but there's lots at the DT. So you just mount it to, you know, whatever you're mounting it to the wall. I'm gonna be using this actually inside the house for something by the bathroom later on while I'm decorating. And I know these can get pretty pricey at like your Home Depot, so I wanted to pick one up for just a buck. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be using any real plants in my house, but if I am, I know this is a good deal. They had these last year. This is the Job's Fertilizer Spikes for beautiful house plants. So it's not for your fake flowers, it's for real flowers. But if I have any real arrangements, which I'm probably going to, maybe not inside, but on my front porch, I thought this might be good. Um, you get how many in here? You get 30 spikes in here. So I know these are way more than a dollar anywhere else. I've hauled these already, but as y'all know, if y'all watched that haul, when I found these little milk containers, I fell in love. And not only that, they were the only two that I found for over a month now, but my Dollar Tree is stocked now with these, so don't give up hope, guys. And it says Dairy Milk by Heritage Company since 1810. These are so stinking cute as is. I'm gonna be painting these. I'm gonna be putting my fake flowers in here. I'm gonna be using them just for decorative pieces around the house. If you're going for that farmhouse or that shabby chic look, guys, this is so cute for a buck. And definitely, like I said, don't give up hope because it's been over a month and they're just now getting them back in stock at my DT. Well, 
plus for the gardening stuff is I finally found the twine vases. Now I want to give a huge thank you, thank you to so many people that have sent them to me. My post office is horrible with telling me that I have packages in the back. They are so hard with giving me the little um, notification things in my mailbox. And a lot of times, if y'all don't tell me I have a package, they don't even notify me. That's how bad it is at my post office. So, so many of y'all have been sending me messages and like, Nicole, I got you the twine vases, girl. You need to go check your post office. Sometimes I check it and the notifications aren't there. So thank you so much to the ones that have sent them to me. I'm not sure if I'm going to even use these because so many of y'all have sent them to me. Thank you so much. That is so not necessary for y'all to send anything to me because my Dollar Trees, I'll eventually get it. I'm just super impatient. But they had the blue, the green, and this clear, and they only had two of the clear left. So I went ahead and got them. But they are just so pretty, guys. They have the twine already glued and wrapped around, if you can see. And how, does it say how many ounces this is? It does not say, but they're pretty good size. And these are gonna be so pretty with the fake flowers. So excited to finally find these. I might even save a couple of these for a giveaway since I have so many from friend, friend mail. Thank y'all so much. I found the cute candles that everybody's been hauling and they finally arrived at my DT. The first one is the octopus that says see la vie and it's just so cute. However, let me show y'all. I mean, look how stinking cute that is. Shut up, Dollar Tree. I've been looking for this octopus one because I just thought it was so stinking cute. But um, just be aware that there's lots of dings on these. You definitely got to check these and make sure that they're not banged up. I had to and even, even checking, I still had to get some that kind of had a little bit of flaws to them. But this one is sea salt and sage. And these are by the Rose Collection. Now, I have had zero luck with the Rose Collection from the Dollar Tree. I got these mainly for the packaging, not for the candle at all. But I got two of them because I got one for me and one for you guys for our future giveaway. And then I also got this one for y'all. This one says uh, Bon Voyage, and it is a little boat. And it's got that nautical theme, and it's got the navy and the boat. So cute. This one is in sea cotton. So it's sea cotton for that one. And again, this is all by the Rose Collection. Then I got two of this one because I got one for me. I've been on the hunt for this one that says Mermaid Kisses. So stinking cute. I mean, how cute is that? I mean, you can't get much cuter than that, right? And this one is Coconut Seaside. This one smells really good, but um, they smell pretty good on cold sniffs. Some of them, some of them I can't smell at all, but I kind of have some allergies going on. If you can hear it in my nose, I'm, I apologize. Allergies have been hitting us really bad. But I got it for the packaging again, and I didn't get just one, I got two because I know a lot of y'all are obsessed with this candle and with mermaids in general, so I got that one for y'all too. So, so far I got these two for a future giveaway for y'all and the, the boat one. And then I got this last one for y'all. I think this is every one of them in the collection. I'm not sure. This one is Anchors Away with a cute little anchor. It does have it outlined in glitter, gold glitter there. So cute. And this one is Sea Salt and Sage. Didn't I just say that for another one? It might not be. You know what? A lot of these little tag things were kind of like all messed up and I was just trying to put them on there. I don't know what scent this is, but who cares? The packaging is too stinking cute. A couple of randoms, and then we're going to get into some scuncy, or like I like to say, scrunchy products. So I did go ahead and get another Mrs. Freshly's Delicious Deals for Trade. These are the fruit and grain bars, and this is the mixed berry. He likes to eat these in the morning, one of those. And if I can get anything in that kid, y'all know it's better than nothing because he's so picky with his sensory and his autism. Um, I also finally found these. I saw so many people haul these later on or earlier on. This is the Jot Do-It-Yourself Project Stencil Wheel and Create Your Own. And I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see it, but it says Be Mine. And what I really liked for this one, this one says Make It Happen. Then it's got Dream Big. This one's so cute. You and Me with the Little Lovebirds. I think I'm going to use that one for sure. And then I really like this one, Home Sweet Home. So that's everything. Nope, we got one more. Um, let's see. Be bold, be brave, be you. All right, so that's all the ones on this stencil. No, man, there's more than I thought. Be mine. I mean, wow, there's a lot on there. But there's two more I took pictures of at the end, and this is really cute for craft projects, and this is really nice for a buck, so I definitely had to pick that up. And the last random I got was a big mailer for my giveaway winner last week. She contacted me, so this will be going in the mail. All right, last but not least, I've got some hair products, and I hit the mother load. Finally, I've been waiting for these two. So many people hauled a lot of the things I showed you today. I've seen people haul like a month ago, but just like y'all said, the struggle is real that your Dollar Trees are taking a long time to get things in. Mine are too, but 
Needless to say, I don't care as long as I get them, right? So I went ahead and got this one. This one is the two-piece one, which is awesome. I love the purple, the teal, the white, the gray on there. So cute with that nice braid. I'm loving wearing headbands lately. If y'all watch my couponing videos, I've been rocking a headband usually on Sundays. You know, mom hair, mom life. Then this one's really cute. It's got like three pieces going on. I really like that, but it's just a plain navy. You can wear that with anything. This one was a must-have because it's like a like a hot pink color. It's not coming across that on camera that well. But again, it's braided, and I love that braided look. It does have like this grip thing on the bottom, y'all can see, so it stays in place. And I don't know about y'all, but I think I just have a big head. But these things hurt my head, though, after a while. I can't wear them too long because I get a headache. Again, I got big head problems. However, I do, I was on the hunt, these were on the wish list for these big, wide, like soft ones. Look how cute that one is. And it looks purple, but it's actually hot pink. And there you go with the logo and this is how it looks on the back. But yeah, just really, really cute head wraps. I'm loving that one. Here is the purple one. I love the purple. I love polka dots in general. And there's the back, so I got that one. And then two more, I told y'all I went a little, um, got a little scrunchy wasted. This is the black polka dot one. And it just looks like that. So I got that one. And last but not least, I got this, what would you call that? I don't even know what kind of pattern that is, but it's like teal, light blue, and navy. And there is the back on that. So that's all the scrunchy products I got. All right, y'all, so that was my Dollar Tree haul. A lot quicker than usual, but like I said, I found some really good things, but not a ton of stuff. So they were unboxing the spring boxes, and I didn't dig into all of them because I couldn't see what was on everything because, you know, usually I'll be diving right into those boxes. But I'm going to wait because I think next week I'll finally be able to get the succulents. Woohoo! I did post on Instagram. Y'all follow me here. They have dollar succulents at Dollar General as well. Y'all know they're owned by the same people. Super cute. I posted a picture on Instagram. So if you can't find the succulents at Dollar Tree, head to your Dollar General because they already had them out at my store and they were running low. I only got a couple. But I'm so looking forward to those succulent picks at Dollar Tree. I have the cutest DIY I've been wanting to do forever. And you can do it way cheap with those succulent picks. So guys, I'm just giving you a forewarning that when I see the succulents, Nicole's getting succulent wasted for sure, okay? So just letting you know, whenever I see them, there's gonna be an abundance of succulents on some haul here in the future. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Thank y'all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you're looking forward to Dollar Tree hauls every single Thursday here on the channel. And if you're not with me, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every single Thursday night at 8 central time when a Dollar Tree haul is posted so you don't miss anything good. And y'all make sure to stay tuned for the pictures at the end because I took lots of them, all the fairy garden stuff, the succulent bowls. I mean, they had some really awesome things I just did not buy because I did not want or need them, but they're definitely there. So definitely head to the Dollar Tree and stay tuned to see what you can find. Love you guys so much. I'll have a great Thursday night and a great weekend ahead and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.